Audio is half of your final video. This is what I was always told, which made the fact that sound design always eluded me all the more frustrating. It always just felt like a whole separate thing that I'd never have the time to get good at. Not to mention needing to invest in a pricey microphone to record your own sounds. I am never gonna financially recover from this. You've probably heard of the Motion 4 plugin, but not as many people have heard of its sound design counterpart, Boombox. I've been using Boombox for many years, and it's made the daunting prospect of adding professional sound effects to my videos and animations way more achievable. And recently, they've launched Boombox Studio, a standalone application rather than a plugin. I'm going to walk you through adding some sound effects to your animation using Boombox Studio. If you want to purchase this plugin after watching this video, Mount Mograph have set up a code for you guys to get 10% off, and I also get a small kickback from that. Thanks. I'm more of an animator slash motion designer than a video editor at heart, so although the intended use of Boombox is to use it in Premiere Pro or Resolve, maybe alongside a rendered or dynamically linked After Effects composition, I'm just going to be adding sounds directly to After Effects, but this tutorial will give you the knowledge to do both. So the first thing we need to do is connect Boombox to After Effects. Because Boombox is now a standalone application, we can't just open it through Windows extensions. Now, although this sounds like a downside, it's actually very convenient if you're using Boombox between multiple applications because you then don't need to install Boombox multiple times, one for After Effects, one for Premiere, etc. You just install it once and then you use the connections system. So to use the connection system, you come up here to this plug, which says manage connections, and it says no connections click settings, you have to download this satellite extension app. And once you've done that, in whatever supported software that you're in, you just press extensions, Boombox Satellite, and that will open a little panel here that will just say connect. And it already says status connected. And you can see in Boombox, it's come up with this uh, box that says After Effects. So if you had multiple softwares open, you could select the one you want. And we will just dock this panel, make sure not to close it, just dock it somewhere out of the way. And now we should be able to add sounds straight into After Effects. So when this cube first comes in, I think we want a kind of whooshing sound. We can search for a pack which we think might contain that sound, or we can simply search for the sound effects themselves by name. There are pros and cons to each approach. If we search for a pack, we might be able to find lots of sounds which go well together. But if we search for a sound effect by name, we might get a lot more results. Let's search for the sound itself in the browse panel. So I will search for whoosh, and down here we have a lot of results. So let's listen to a few. I think I want something quicker, so I'm gonna search instead for whip. Yeah, these sound a bit better. So we have three options down here, add to timeline, cue, and swap. We're gonna move our playhead to where we want the sound effect to be at its peak. And down here in the waveform, you can actually see there's a dotted line, and this kind of indicates the, the peak of the sound. And I think we want that to be around here, so I will click add to timeline. And now if we play, we have our sound. So let's add another swish sound. And I've just accidentally added two of the same sound. It's a good opportunity to show you the swap feature. If I just click on this sound and I choose a different one and I click swap, it will just swap our sound in the timeline. Now for this motion, this sound sounds perfect. So let's position our playhead and click add to timeline. I think I need to adjust it a little bit to the right. And then for this effect, I like this sound. So let's add that one. It's a little bit too long, but I'm gonna try and stretch it. Let's try 50%. Yeah, that sounds cool. And then I'll try this one, Tunnel Wish 4. And I will do the same. I will just stretch it a little bit. And then it moves to the side of the screen here. I want it to make a hitting sound every time it hits a wall. So we will add that in first. So let's go to the exact frame that it hits the wall. Uh, you can use control and right and left arrow key on your keyboard to move one frame at a time. And then let's search for hit. I quite like these. So I will press add to timeline. And I like that they have lots of sounds that are very similar, but slightly different. It means for this, we can use the same sound, but it's all gonna sound slightly different. So we have.
We just need some more whooshing effects in between here. And let's add some more of these in. Let's have a quick watch. Sounds pretty cool. Now, a really awesome feature of Boombox is the constellation feature. And this is gonna allow us to change the spatial property of the sound. So which ear of the headphone, which direction it's coming from. You probably will only appreciate this if you are wearing headphones, but I think it's really cool. And you can also change the volume at the same time. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna click our first sound here. And we know that this square is coming from the left. So if we just change this star to be on the left hand side, and if you're wearing headphones, you should be able to hear this. It's now coming from the left speaker. This one we won't change. These two, I think could be slightly less in terms of volume. So we're gonna bring those down. And I've just realized we're missing a sound. So there's a very subtle movement here where the line gets a bit shorter. So we're gonna go back and add in a new sound. And that one, if we go back to the constellation, is gonna be really quiet because it's such a small movement. Then when the square hits the right side of the screen, let's change the pan so that it's at 45 degrees. And then when it hits the top right corner, let's change it to about 15, 20 degrees. And at the top left, let's change it to minus 20. And when it's at the bottom left, uh, let's change it to around minus 65. Let's have a listen. And that is how you add sounds to your animations with Boombox. I hope you found this video useful. As I said in the beginning, if you want to purchase this plugin, make sure to use my code for 10% off. I'm definitely going to start releasing more animation content again soon, guys, so stay tuned.